Hello there, Taurus. Welcome to your November 2022 love reading. Let's see what's going on for you in November. Let's see what's happening here. Okay. We're starting out with the Knight of Wands. Okay. Someone's coming towards you with an offer here. Or you might be doing something new. Something you're passionate about going towards something or someone. Let's see. We have... Okay. We have a rocking horse. So to me, the rocking horse either means someone from the past, someone from childhood maybe even, or it could be wanting to move but can't because it's stationary. So, okay, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, crossing you. Okay, we have your sign, the Hierophant. This could be wanting a commitment with someone. It almost feels like someone that you're passionate about, you want a commitment, or someone's coming towards you with a lot of passion, they want a commitment. However, this resonates with you. And um, let's see what else we have. Ooh. Someone's having a lot of regret, a lot of remorse for what happened in the past. Maybe they keep on dwelling on the three of cups, not seeing the possibility of a two of cups. Five has changed, though. And we have five here, five here. Ooh. Okay, someone did some sneaky things in the past, some behavior that was not nice. Could cheat, lie. To see someone somehow held back something. That's a past energy. Coming in near for oh, see? Felt that six of cups. This here. This is like a past connection coming back in. Memories from the past. Resurfacing very soon here. This is the near future. Okay. So let's just come in also for you. The King of Coins. Okay, so could this could be your energy towards Virgo Capricorn. Coming into a very stable position here. Maybe you're getting a new position or Something looks like you're very stable. I like that. Let's see. Got a charm on that. Well, we have the Eiffel Tower. So this could be something to do with France. Are you going? To, are you from France? Are you in France? Um, is this? Do you speak French? Are you planning a trip to France? Maybe. Maybe to Paris. Something to do with the Eiffel Tower. Okay. So I mean, this may or may not really relate with you. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Okay. Outside influences. We have the two of cups. There's some kind of decision to be made here. Maybe a coming together, a partnership. This is your energy. I feel right here at the king of cups. A lot of love, maybe. A lot of emotions you're feeling. Or maybe someone sees you as their king of cups. Okay. We have here the seahorse. Okay. This is news of a new... um connection here a new um relationship coming in it's also seahorses they mate for life so this could be some new connection coming in for you oh we have the magician looks like you're manifesting okay magician is for me is aries and aquarius so it looks like you have all the power you need to manifest whatever you want here okay <coughs> now the possible outcome we have a celebration May you're going to be invited to a party, some kind of event. You'll be celebrating something. Oh, we have the tower. Shocking. Something's coming in that's going to shock you, some kind of surprise, something you're not expecting. And the tower is Aries and the Scorpio energy. And we have here the Empress. Okay, that's your energy. Okay, Libra Taurus energy. So you might be shocking people with you becoming the empress or you are the empress or whatever you're manifesting we do have the world okay so there's completion of a cycle for something new to begin now with the empress i'm feeling it's your energy of course you could be dealing with the empress but I, i'm feeling in this case for most of you it's your energy so you are very creative this time this is giving birth to something new it might shock everybody what you're doing you might be planning you are manifesting here so you might be planning something that's going to shock everybody whatever you're doing here it looks good so the Empress gives birth, gives birth to, you know, it could be finding out about pregnancy, or it also could be giving birth to a new idea, a new business, something new, creating something new. I want to make sure I don't skip any of them. Okay, so let's start clarifying. Why is the Knight of Wands here? Let's see what that's all about. Why is the Knight of Wands here? Why is the Knight of Wands here for Taurus? Okay, so you're going to get some kind of contact, some kind of information. Someone's coming in with maybe a very passionate message here. 
page of wands aries leo sagittarius this could be in form of a text an email a phone call a letter or even in person let's get a charm for that page of wands could be younger than you we have here what is this oh pegasus so this is good news coming for you coming towards you this could be if you're worried about your health you're getting a clean bill of health anything that's coming in as a news is going to be good news could be finance it's going to be good news about love or, you know anything is coming towards you is going to be a welcome thing to come towards you here now the hierophant which i feel like your energy we have you here already in the hierophant and we have you here in the empress those are both your cards so let's see what's going on with the hierophant this could be a commitment this could be conforming to something too let's see what we have Ooh. okay this is definitely your energy so something is coming in that makes you very excited it might be a commitment okay what about this five of cups there's a five of cups here Ooh, ace of wands okay there's definitely changes you have five 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 here three fives wow okay so there's some kind of new beginning something's going to come in for you um a new passionate beginning maybe you're starting something new i could be starting a new business something you're passionate about them general energy is having some might have a lot of regret and remorse they might come in and offer you something here what about the seven of swords why do we have the seven of swords here this is the past energy why do we have the seven of swords in the past okay okay so here this is your energy too taurus this is even give and take this um the six of pentacles someone might have been given to to one and not the other and maybe that's why something happened in the past maybe someone was given to someone else and not given to you so you cut them out and because of this um you felt like they were deceiving you hmm okay now we have the six of cups why is the six of cups here what's going on with the six of cups okay looks like you're standing above the rest so whatever you're doing if you're doing something in your work or something you're um standing out but it could be something coming back from the past that um a past connection and you're looking good you know you're achieving some kind of um recognition here and you're above the rest here okay what about this king of coins king of coins why is king of coins here Ooh, here we go with the six from six of cups again okay so this is probably your energy i would think unless you're dealing with another earth sign something returning from the past very soon here's it the, the very soon and this is the future so there's definitely the six of cups is some kind of past connection here could be a soulmate connection too you could be fighting for this connection or someone else could be fighting for this connection what about the two of cups here's a partnership here why the two of cups come in Ooh, ace of cups wow there's a lot of love here so it looks like there's going to be a someone coming in offering you a cup of love overflowing with love here i like it okay now we have the king of cups which i put in your position here so let's see what's that all about why do we have the king of cups here for taurus what's going on oh someone's stuck in their head is this you maybe you're not seeing something or someone's afraid to move because they could remove this blindfold and they could take off these ties and walk right through so either you or someone else is stuck in their head about something and and all you gotta do is move and you'll be fine now you are being the magician here you're manifesting so what's this all about it feels like everything's going good if you're oh you might be stuck in your head or someone else is whichever way it goes it's gonna be different for everyone magician we have oh someone's maybe sneaking i don't know if i like the magician with the seven of swords someone might be trying to manipulate someone here i don't like that hmm either that or someone's trying to have something come in but they're not telling anybody i don't know i sort of don't like that energy there but okay let's go on what's going on with the three of cups is some kind of celebration what's this all about will of fortune divine time and destiny okay so you're going to some event or going to be celebrating something that is divinely guided here's this is supposed to happen but what about this tower now the tower is aries scorpio energy what's this tower all about Ooh, the high priestess 
okay, maybe this is mystery, this is intuition, this is very strong. Someone's going to surprise someone by knowing something. You might be able to, maybe you're very intuitive, you're going to surprise someone about this. This is Virgo Cancer energy. Okay, very strong. Your intuition might be on fire. You might be surprising someone. Now we have the Empress. Was it? Why is the Empress here? Let's get that one. Okay, you could be protecting something here or being very defensive over something that you're creating because you are creating something here. Okay, so I think you might be protecting whatever you're trying to create here. We do have the world card here, though. This is ending of cycle of something new. Something could be coming back around with the world card, too. And we do have a two of pentacles. You could be juggling something, juggling two people. You could be juggling your personal life with your business. You could be trying, this is infinity too, you'd be trying to make something come in here that you're trying to make work. Okay, let's see. What else do we have for you guys? What else? What else do we have here for Taurus? What else? Okay, temperance. You're balancing things out. Sagittarius energy. Being patient. Ooh, four of wands. This could be a commitment. Another tower. Wow. Okay, so you might be... Are you trying to balance something out with someone, maybe? Or someone's trying to balance something out with you for a commitment? For uh, This also could be for a foundation, for a house, for something. And surprising people. Uh, Aries Scorpio energy with the tower. This is some, something suddenly happened. A shock. What else do we have? Okay, here's six of coins again. Six of swords. Look at these sixes coming out. And the eight of wands. Okay. So when I see this, I see an even give and take. Someone's giving someone something. Hopefully there's an even give and exchange here. Pussy with the temperance balancing things out. Even give and take. Walking away from or moving away from something here. Could be leaving something. Maybe you're leaving something that wasn't an even give and take. So this is a six of swords. This is being divinely guided by your guides. Being pulled out of rough water. Or someone's getting pulled out of rough. This could be you or it could be someone else. Someone could be coming towards you. This is fast move, back and forth communication. So it looks like you might be leaving something behind that was not good for you. Going to someplace better. And things are going to move along quickly. Either you're going to be very busy doing a lot of different... um. You know, like busy at work or a lot of projects or a lot of work or it could be communication back and forth and we have okay teamwork the empress again and the knight of cups and we have the six of pentacles okay so with the three of pentacles this is working together as a team so this seemed like this whole row here seems like it's all about coming into balance having an even exchange even give and take this is you moving away from something, come into your Empress energy. And this is going to be um, giving birth to something. And there's a lot of communication, a lot going on with this shocking over here. And then we have the Knight of Cups. Someone might be coming with a love offer to you. Good for your Scorpio Cancer Pisces energy. Wanting to offer their love. But then we also have this Knight of Pentacles. Okay, we have the Star of the Sea here. Getting a lot of attention. Might have something to do with the ocean. And then we have the Knight of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Someone might be coming slowly towards you in an offer. And when they come, they're steady. They're, they're reliable. They make sure they cross all their T's and dot all their I's. These are both the slower ones. This is not fast moving. Very slow moving with the Knight of Cups offering their love. And also, this Knight of Pentacles is might be changing or trying to be um, more stable, more reliable. So maybe someone was not stable and reliable in the past. They come back to tell you they are going to be so now. Okay, let's see. What's the word? We're starting with... I don't have one there, right? So the first one is... Okay. Okay, so the first one's over here. All right, so we don't... Okay. I'll make, okay, oh, that's right. There's two here. So let's start with the Knight of Wands. What's the scoop on that? Definitely some passionate communication coming into you. Might be for commitment here. So I'm going to put this up here. So I obsessed, honest, 
sincere. Okay, someone's coming in. They're obsessed over you, and they're honest and sincere about it. Okay, what about this page of wands? What's the scoop on that? Lover. Meeting. Regret. Okay, someone, you're going to be meeting with a lover that has regret. Well, we do have this card here. So it might be something kind of regret what happened in the past or something. Okay, now let's do this King of Coins. Let's see what we have for the King of Coins. Breakup. Denying. Immature. Forget. Okay, so this King of Coins, there was some buddy denying that they were immature maybe, or they want to forget. And there's a breakup. However you want to put that one. Okay, so the next one is the King of Cups. Realize a tower fast. Okay, someone's going to have a, a fast awakening or realizing something. Now, of course, this is maybe going to um, maybe break them free of being stuck here. So here's Aries, Scorpio with the tower. Realize something real fast. They're gonna, this is going to happen. They're going to realize something. Okay, now next one is... Um, let me do... Did I put a charm on this one? I didn't put a charm on that one. Let me put a charm on that one. Okay, let me put a charm on the Knight of Pentacles. Oh, I did. Hmm. I guess not. Okay, an elephant with an upside down heart. So this is saying someone has a lot of love here, a big memory of the love. Might be upside down at this time. <laughs> Might not be going to. Okay, let's see. Let's get the words on this one. We have admitted money future. So, um, in the future, they might admit they had something something about money. Some kind of thing to do with money. Okay, what about the Knight of Cups? And that'll be the last one. Let's see. We have... Love. Very soon, soulmate. Okay, so very soon, this person is coming towards you because they have love you and they see you as their soulmate. So you can expect this person to come in very soon. I think I got everybody right. Make sure I didn't skip anybody. What's that one? Oh, three cups. Okay. Alrighty. So let's see what signs you're dealing with, Taurus. What are the signs? What are the signs for Taurus? Let's see. You came up a lot in this. Oh, Virgo. Wanted to come up. Okay. Virgo. Libra, Pisces, Gemini, Sagittarius, and Taurus. Okay, look at you come up in your reading today. Wow. Very prominent here. Okay, guys. So this could be placed in your chart, placement of other people's chart, past, present, and future. We have Virgo, Libra, Pisces, Gemini, Sagittarius, and Taurus. Now for the letters. We can do 11 letters. This will be initials, first name, last name. If you get both the first and last name, someone has a middle name. You know that name, you get that initial, all the better. Past, present, future, also your own. We have R, D, E, W, G, R, D, S, I T E. Okay, so letters we have for you they are R D E W G R D S I T E. Now for the names. Let's do eleven names. This we um eleven or more names. What names want to come up? Okay, we have Al, 
Rehan, R E H A N, Nelly, Nathaniel, Vivian, Tyrell, T Y R A I L. We have Nicholas, Takumi, T A K U M I, Damian, Jeffrey, spelled J E F F E R Y, Turner, and Charlie. Okay, there's 12. All right, guys, so those are names. Now, these are general readings. They are not personal readings. Please just take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Please let me know if it resonates. Please leave comments. I love to read your comments. And if it doesn't resonate, it doesn't make sense to you, check your other placements. It might make more sense. All right, guys, I love you so much, and I really appreciate all you like, share, subscribe, and comments, and I hope to see you all again real soon. Thank you.